shaky footage. I put my gimbal away. This is the as I finished my first live stream, the trolley that's taking me between the first top Fridays was just getting ready to leave right at 6 o'clock. So I said, oh, let me hop on that real quick. That was the idea that if you were at the lakefront concert, you could at some point just get on here and quickly hop over to the public square concert. This is Brown Stadium that we're passing by. Well, I have an appreciation for this gimbal that I usually use and how stable it keeps the footage. Trying to use my hands, I can tell how shaky it is. See if I can attach it to my gimbal real quick. Alright, forgive that little shaky footage. Now I can be smoother with it. like that would be for beverages back there. Now this is a limo trolley. It's like a red limo trolley. So it's what they're using for that first Top Fridays event. Hey, this looks familiar. When wasn't I just over here? <laughs> No active beverages right now. That's just, I assume, if someone rents it out and wants to have that.
worked out pretty nice for me though because I don't granted I, I walk all the time so it's not a problem but instead of me having to walk all the way back from North Coast Harbor to Public Square to catch my bus just got to hop on here instead nice air conditioning too I don't think I've been on a bus before that has windows out the backside. That's a nice touch if you're trying to like appreciate the scenery in every direction. So, in theory, it would be cool if I like continued this and tried to use it on the 22 bus, but I don't know. Usually the type of clientele on the 22 bus isn't conducive to uh, being comfortable holding a camera and filming. I think the last last week maybe I was on a 22 and there was like a big fight that was really close to breaking out on the back of the bus which is is not the norm but you know things happen Terminal Tower now. There's the there there mural that I pointed out in one of last week's videos. We're gonna do a KB in the Riptide to the original, which is kind of a Latin kind of thing. Unfortunately, I see the 22 bus. No. <laughs> That's alright though.
things there. This is probably the 22 that I'll catch uh, eventually when it comes around. Unless that previous one that I saw was late, it's usually a 15 minute interval between the buses. Yeah, I was debating. I, if I had caught it right away, I might have considered like starting on it, but I don't know if I would, because I don't want to like walk and then risk missing, missing the next bus. So I don't know if I want to sit here idly, just staring <laughs> with the camera. Otherwise, if someone tunes in, they'll be like, what the hell is this guy doing? He's just sitting there pointing at the, pointing at the building. All right, let's see here. We have eight viewers right now. So if I decide to stick around and possibly record part of the bus trip, uh, while I'm waiting for that, someone tried to ask me a couple questions so that I can at least offer some commentary while I'm waiting. Where snow bands persist ask, do you have a driver's license? Good question. No, but I want to, uh, although I keep saying this for a while, but I want to push myself and try to make it a goal to get it. You also asked, are you a choice transit rider or do you not have another option? Yeah, I guess guess basically you don't have another option but and the same note it's sort of choice in the sense that I used it kind of the story with that goes is 
so I didn't have one after high school. But then when I started going to Cleveland State University, they had what they called the U-Pass program. And I think they still have that, where every student paid back then $25 per semester. And that gave you unlimited RTA usage for the whole semester. So, you know, in my mind, it was a no-brainer. I was like, why, why would I pay for a car when... You know, I'm a student, you know, I want to try to build income, not get in the debt. You know, and I, I was always a f- kind of raised frugal to begin with. So to me, it was a no-brainer. Like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to take the bus. So that, that just became habit because I was taking the bus five days a week during the week. You know, back and forth. The, where I was residing and where the university was... It was convenient because the bus line was pretty close to me, so it wasn't like I was going out of my way to take it. When did you graduate? Undergraduate in 2011, graduate in 2012, and then I uh, got hired for my full-time job there in 2013. So it's kind of maintained the same same bus route for all these years like it's got it's got to be like 15 years hey of course over the years i thought to myself like ah, i should get a go for getting a driver's license but usually i and i know it'll sound silly because you know so many people have it but i'm just like so preoccupied busy doing other things you know, if I'm, I'm either working the full-time job, if I'm not doing that, I'm working on my Browns blog. I've got, like, another side job besides that. I, then I love doing the travel videos like this. I like working out, exercising, riding bike. So I just haven't had an urgent need for a car for my situation. But I still definitely would like to do it, especially a lot of these places that I want to travel and do videos for. You know, it'd be much more convenient if I had a car. Like, for example, when I did that Easter video, uh, the past two years, actually, yeah, I took a bus, and it got, you know, it got me pretty close to the location. I only had to do, like, a seven-minute walk to film it, but it was, like, an hour and a half ride each way, whereas if I had a car, it probably would have taken me 15 minutes. And then there's a lot of other places, like... There's something in Willoughby that I want to film. There's, I'd love to go down to Akron and film, film stuff. Uh, even if I'm in other cities, as much as I endorse public transportation, I, you know, there's certain times where it may just be beneficial to rent, rent a car and be able to see some of these things more quickly. Not New York City. You don't want to do a car in New York City. Uh, stick with public transit for that. Where Snow Bands Persist says, do you have any idea what car you want when you get a license? No, I have, haven't even really thought about it yet, what type of car I would get. Okay, we should be getting pretty close to a 22 coming. I know I see one bus Anytime I am waiting for the bus at this intersection of East 3rd and Superior, uh, certain buses come off of East 3rd and Rockwell, but I can see it in the reflection of the mirror. Sorry, it's blurry. In the reflection of that mirror, you can see a bus waiting. Sometimes I can actually read the number 22, but with where I'm sitting right now, uh, I can't make out the numbers. Uh, that's a 51, I think. Yeah, 51A. That's a Metro Health line. Where Snowbands Persist says, well, soon you'll be able to catch buses from Southgate to Akron. I saw someone tweet that on social media. Actually, yeah, I guess it was RTA that tweeted it. That you could take the... But it's the connecting buses, right? Like the Metro... Metro bus, I think? I gotta read more details about it, but yeah, I saw that in a 
tweet earlier today. David Fedor says, public transportation in Cleveland blows. <laughs> That's, it's hard to say because it's served my particular purpose for where I need to go. There's certain things about the train systems and like where they actually make their stops that I've appreciated over the years from other cities. Like I like how Seattle, St. Louis had their main... What, I guess what you would kind of call like our red line like their train systems actually go through the downtown area so if there's like four different spots in downtown you can take the train there us yeah you can get off the red line and take the health line and take other buses but if you just want to stay on that train we don't have that option it's like you either get off at Tower City or the next stop is near what is it like East 31st by Tri-C I think Wayne said, if you need a car to practice with, you can use mine. I would not mind helping you out. Well, that's that's a kind kind offer. I mean, I never know. That, that actually has been one of the hindrances over the years. Here's the 22 bus. It's sort of tricky sometimes whether they'll let you on down there or if they're going to want you to wait. Let's see here. Let's see if they'll let me on. Alright, this is kind of what I was hoping for, too. Oh, shit. See, I hate these damn windows. I hate when they put these window cleans on like this, because then it's, it's blurry to me. But it's like... Uh, the video especially doesn't go through it. You know what? I'm going to... It up here where they don't have it. David says RTA has stopped running a lot of bus lines that ran into residential areas. Yeah, that is true when they did uh, the next gen RTA redesign a couple years ago, and then even years before that, a lot of the redesigns have cut that out because they're trying to, like, I guess serve main main roads only yeah I agree ad wraps should be banned when they're like that ugly I think part of the benefit of public transit is you want to see the see the city but like honestly these ones specifically like this when I ride this it actually kind of hurts my eyes when I'm like trying to look out the window just like the constant grid like nature of it Yeah, you make a good point, uh, the viewer whose name is the letter I. They said, once you drive, you'll never want to use public transit again. Just the convenience alone will change your mind. I've often thought about that because, you know, it, it, for years, 15 years now, anytime I go to downtown Cleveland, it's a 40, 45 minute bus ride, or the commute, I guess. The bus ride itself is a little shorter. But like I've gotten used to that, but now imagine if I take a car and it's like 10 minutes, you know, think of the amount of time I could save. But on the same note, if you're in a suburb, I'm a, I would be avoiding like traffic jams on the highway. So there's pros and cons to it, I guess, right? But yeah, for a lot of the convenience purposes or going to the, even going to the store, I'm sure once I did it, I'd be like, screw that, I'm not taking the bus if I had the choice of just hopping in my car. David says, consider an e-bike with a GoPro camera. Yeah, an e-bike would be a nice consideration.
um, speaking on the car payment system too, the car payments thing too, you know, if I'm trying to offset costs from my mindset, you know, the amount of times that I travel on plane, granted, I try to get this, you know, cheap deals on it, but like in my mind, I sort of think to myself, well, you know, I'd almost rather use the money for the luxury of flying somewhere and having a little adventure as opposed to having to pay that money on a car. David says when there's no guardians or cabs or browns downtown, it turns into a ghost town, just like in the 70s. I will agree with you on two, you know, there's a lot of days where yes, it is like that, but now if you're talking about late evenings, like maybe, but right now, like if you saw part one of my video, you know, downtown was pretty, pretty lively, all things considered. guys I'm, I'm reading I'm reading all the comments but if I'm not answering it's because you know sometimes on the bus I'm just trying to keep it quieter
I'm kind of surprised I thought West 25th Street would look a little busier with foot traffic. When I did that live stream a couple weeks ago, I think it was on a Tuesday or Wednesday, there was like, it seemed like a lot more people out. sides of the street, but yes, yes. the opposite side of the street would be uh, St. Ignatius High School. Where Snow Vans persists says, I now understand why you don't normally do this. Well, to, to be honest, it's not, it's more likely to happen on like the 22 at times, but most of the time it actually doesn't happen. There's no issue. Other buses like the 55, you're really not going to have that problem. Next 
shall be flushed. place over there that says Greek Village Grill. I've seen that coming soon sign forever, so I assume that it's not actually coming soon. There's the Metro Health Center on Lorraine. Michael's own park and rec center coming up, but the Red Line Greenway starts like on the next block that would be leading to that direction. That's a bicycle path that runs along the Red Line train. I'm not going to show the camera over there, but across on the north side of Lorraine Avenue, right at this area, would be the West 65th Rapid Station. This is the Michael's Zone Park. Thanks, you have a nice evening and weekend too, Wayne. times I've gone there, I've taken the 25 from Steelyard and gotten off here, uh, it drops you off right there, because it would continue, continue through and eventually go on Madison, I think. Uh, yeah, you can get off there and then connect to the 22. In fact, there's a 25 that just went the other direction. that 
are characters, and when I say character, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like, they have very distinct and unique things that they do. But I think there's been one bus driver that I remember, just one. I haven't heard him for a while, so I don't know if he's still with the system, but they, they would always name the connections. They would say, like, connections to number 25, number 26, number 81, and so-and-so, and they would also name some destinations, too. Next stop, Lowland Avenue and West 78th Street. Next stop, Lowland Avenue and West 88th Street. absolutely sucks near my neighborhood. Anytime I'm at home or even nearby, like if I'm doing anything high intensity, the connection is immediately, the, it says transmission. So like, I've tried to complain. Like, nothing's wrong, but they say nothing's wrong. drops pretty soon. The Lorraine Avenue that I covered. You can even hear me still with how bad the connection is. Look at this telephone bolt. I know they tried putting in a new one. All those cords are going to have to change over on this thing that looks flimsy as hell. The bad thing is they took away the button. So you gotta gauge the yellow light. Make sure cars stopped and run across. <laughs> yeah, I, that's one of the reasons I haven't done live streams in a while, walking around my neighborhood or 
sadly, when there was a beautiful snowfall happening one night, I tried to do a live stream in my neighborhood, and I was so let down because the signal was just weak from the get-go, and it actually died within, like, 30 seconds of me trying it. And then instead, I just stitched together, like, a 30-second short that I posted to YouTube back in winter time. Surprisingly, actually, right now at this spot by the CBS, uh, it's getting stronger again. But anyway, that was... I didn't, I didn't expect to do a second live stream here. At first, I was just going to show off that limo. Uh, that limo that went from the first Top Fridays. And then I got the suggestion, but I was also thinking about it. Like, eh, maybe I could show a bus ride. So that was nice that it worked out. Unfortunately, yeah, the guy was... The one guy got on at West 25th Street. And before he got on the bus, I knew he was going to be like that. Because he was... A, I could see him, like, you know, gesturing and talking to himself. You know, certain people, you just know... You know, you, they're, they're harmless in the sense that they're not going to get on the bus. I could tell, like, he's not going to get on the bus and start doing stuff to other people. He's just, you know... Sadly, it's just with the... How they are. But anyway... God, now I'm baffled. The connection is, like, really strong right here. Like... But anyway... Uh, if you enjoyed this part, impromptu part two, again, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in to either one or both of these live streams today. This is West Boulevard, by the way, that I'm walking on, but I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream here. It's a good time to end it, too, because my phone is... Uh, getting close to dying out anyway. That's nice. The phone actually lasted for about close to two hours. Or over, yeah, over two hours. Like two and a half hours of live streaming combined without having charged it. Actually, I guess it's not going to completely die. It's 29%. But sometimes when it gets low, it'll jump from like... 19% straight down to like 5% all of a sudden. That's why anytime I see it get a certain point, I know like, hey, it's a good time to cut it off. Yeah, once again, thanks for tuning in and have a good weekend, everyone.